Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. It's Patrick, your recovery pastor. Today, your word for the day comes out of Matthew 4, 1 through 11. I'm going to read it real quick. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you're the Son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. Then Jesus said to him, Again it is written, You shall not put your Lord God to the test. Again the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all of the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to, them, to him, All these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. And then Jesus said to him, Be gone, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him, and him only you shall serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and were ministering to him. You know, Jesus was both fully God and fully man. And this, this sequence of events led up to his ministry beginning and the, the fulfillment of many prophecies. You see, Jesus went out to the desert for 40 days and for 40 nights to fast and to pray and to prepare to begin his earthly ministry. And, and, and once he was really hungry and really tired and really weary and all alone, he uh, was tempted by Satan. And, you know, he, he, he had a sequence of temptations. First, of, first he, he appealed to his, his hunger and his thirst, and he said, Hey, listen, make these rocks bread. You're hungry. You know, what's it going to hurt? And then later on, he, he took him up and said, Listen, if you're, really, if you're really God, throw yourself off, because God's not going to let anything happen to you. And then again, he took him up to a high place and showed him all of the earth. And, you know, as you know or may not know, you know, God gave essentially Satan command of the, of the earthly realm when he cast him out of heaven. So he said, listen, Jesus, if you just bow down and worship me, I'll give you all this that you can see. But Jesus wouldn't do it because he knew God's plan was bigger than what Satan realized. You see, oftentimes the enemy comes to us and he tempts us and he shows us things that in the moment they look really appealing, they look really good, and they, they seem like they're going to fix the, the immediate problem that we have. And Jesus provides us an incredible example here in knowing that you have to stay on mission, you have to stay on, focused on what God's purpose is for your life and remain obedient to what his word says. Even though Satan tried to use God's word in, in, in twisted them against, uh, against what, what the truth was and used them kind of against Jesus, attempted to. See, Jesus knew exactly what the Bible said. And just like Jesus, we have to study God's Word and understand what it truly means and apply that to our lives so that when the time comes that we're tempted, we can be ready and know the right path to take. You see, Calvary, in the recovery community, we often say that we're most vulnerable to temptation and we use the acronym HALT, all right? The H is hungry, the A is angry, the L is lonely, and the T is tired. Jesus was tempted when he was hungry. Maybe not angry, but lonely and tired. So next time you're hungry, angry, lonely, or tired, just know that the truth of God's word will guide you in those difficult times. So I just want to encourage you today, Calvary, temptation's coming. Make sure that you're ready. Have a great week.